Hey everybody! Wow, that was well timed. Welcome <laughs> back to GDPG, and uh, today we're playing the aquatic adventure of the last human. Yes. I guess. Well, again, I guess. Yeah, it's been a while, but we, the game's officially out now. Yeah, we uh, we played the demo way back in Foreverland. It, it was some point in 2015, I remember, and uh, we backed the Kickstarter, and now we finally got it. So, we can check it out. Um, um, go and play some some. Are we going through the full game? I would personally like to. We'll, we'll kind of see if, if you guys are enjoying this playthrough. Um, so at the end of the episode, be sure to vote if you want us to keep playing. But uh, it's So it's not a short game, but it's not a long game either. I think really what's going to cause this series to, be, to have any length is that there are a lot of bosses that are very, very challenging. <laughs> uh, and there might be some episodes dedicated to just fighting them because it, it'll, it'll be tough. Oh, also, we're using this fancy uh, Steam controller, so... Oh, yeah. I'm I thought I might give jelly. this a try for uh, this game. Super jelly. Because, like, you, it's normally a mouse and keyboard game, but you don't really need precision so other than, using like... The, for those who don't know, you can use the thumb pad as if it's a mouse pad, like a mouse. It, yeah, it basically is like a touch pad. So, uh, yeah, it's crazy cool. Uh, as I said, I'm Super Jelly, and that's probably what the name of the episode will be. Yeah, super <laughs> jelly. All right. So um, basically, a long time ago, some people went off into space for some reason. I don't know. Chris might know. And uh, now people have returned, or a person, the last human, I'm presuming, has returned back to a watery world. This base will be our new frontier for interstellar missions. Press the A button to close. All right. <laughs> yeah. Metagame tutorial. <laughs> So when we first played this, uh, I think one of our, our main criticisms was that the art in the background and the foreground had different pixel ratios. And oh, yeah, look, it did. They, uh, they took they my advice and they made it all a... Uh, fixed that shit up. Yeah. It, it felt really satisfying, though, to see that and be like, ah, yeah, now it's so much more beautiful. Hold tape. The floodgate will remain closed until the water levels stabilize. Bay 702 will be your home for now. At least Sweet. so far the, the dialogue texts are relatively short. They're all pretty short. It's actually... That's good. And, like, these aren't even really tutorials necessarily, other than just, like, setting the scene. More and more reports are coming in that gigantic clams are destroying our worker drones. Be cautious out there, workers. So I guess that's tutorial, because... I mean, really, we could just, like, get killed by them and be like, oh, those are dangerous, but they look pretty dangerous anyway, so, I mean... Yeah, uh, it's pretty pretty disgusting and terrifying. <laughs> yeah. Beware of sewage pipe leaks. Corrosive sewage will greatly damage the whole of all work shuttles. Avoid contact for your own safety. Press the A button to close. <laughs> so, uh, these two, especially these pipes, these pipes are really going to be, like, the one thing that follow us throughout the rest of the game. I've played this game already, by the way, guys, so uh, I won't, like, pretend like I don't know what's going on, but... No, but that gives you a level of expertise now, and that's why you're playing it, and I don't have to. Woohoo! Yeah, the hope is that we won't get stuck kind of sitting around waiting for stuff to... Ha or trying to figure out what's what we need to do. Lower harpoon acquired. So I, I loved this. This was in the demo, too, but the harpoon was basically s just... Uh, on the lower part of the ship, which changes your range of, like, your the angles in which you can fire it. Um, oh. Well, that was quick. Wow. Um, so that was the giant worm. Really, bro? I, uh, so eventually we'll, we'll get a dash ability, and I forgot that I don't have it. <laughs> so, so I gotta be a little bit more careful about my timing. Isn't it funny that the first, like, enemy they put you against is a boss? Well, that's the thing. So when we first played this game, I think there were more enemies in the environment in general. I'm pretty sure there were, but I mean, it's been so long. I don't I mean, everything. in the demo, I think it started us off by facing him first. Um, oh, you were ooh, almost My dead. hole is like, not at all. I'm going to just kind of like play it safe until it recovers. <laughs> he, he breached your hole. <laughs> <laughs> but no, really, you're going to die. Yeah, I will. Why don't you try shooting him? Uh, I'm trying to stay clear. Apparently my health regen is very, very slow, though. Oh, boy. Yeah, Do I you got take some... damage from hitting walls? 
No, you don't. Actually, and that's one thing that I really like about this. I don't think that this is the right kind of game to where oh. they would need to damage you from hitting the wall, because it's mm -hmm. not a precision game, right? Um, and I think the bosses are already challenging enough to where you, you don't really need to make it any more challenging. So, um, are you healing over time? Yes. Okay. That, that's why I was saying I should, like, kind of play it safe and go off to the side. Um, but health okay. regen is very slow in the early stages of the game. Yeah, it is. Oh, oh god, I thought he was gonna do the, like... Every time down. I keep being, every time I'm like, why won't you shoot up? I, like, and we just had this conversation. Ooh. Man, they really, um... You know, it kind of reminds me... Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh, 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 oh mm. poopy buckets. I didn't You're move dead. fast enough. Alright. You're dead. All right, I got this. This is the one. This is the money maker. This is the first boss. Didn't you beat the game? Yeah. Well, all of the bosses are pretty challenging. Um, hey, your har harpoon really doesn't go far. Well, you can That's charge it. Cool, actually. Oh, okay. Because it kind of makes it Oof. almost. Jeez, you're almost dead again. Oh. I like so that's it. that's the thing. When I first played this game, I think uh, the way that I, I wanted to play it there. was to there. always charge up the harpoon. He, there's, he has weak spots, man. Does he have weak spots? Are you sure about that? Oh. Oh, yeah, I, I have no idea how to play this. Okay, wait. <laughs> All right. I can, okay, move with this. How do I shoot? It's uh, the trigger. right trigger, yeah. Okay. And you can hold it, too. And is that all I need to know? That's all you need right now. All right, cool. I'm going to die. But yeah, when I first played this game, I think initially I wanted to basically always charge up my harpoon because I was like, oh, this will probably do more damage and shoot farther. Um, but that's not the case. It shoots farther, but it doesn't do any more damage than the short shots do, even when the harpoons lose their momentum. Um, so okay, partway so. through the game, it kind of teaches you that, hey, it's actually oftentimes better to just spam the harpoon because you have no ammo, so there's no reason to conserve it. Uh, you suck. Yeah, and the bosses too, I think, like, most of them I would argue have maybe a little too much health. Like, the worm is a pretty good example, right, where, um, I feel like this battle, especially if we're playing it safe, um, takes a while, right? Uh, in a way, it kind of makes the boss battle satisfying when you actually kill them, right? Because you're like, I survived, I endured this. That's what I was trying to say before, and I, I like, got too excited. Uh, stick, stick away from me. Right here, spot, <laughs> sp big spot. Yeah, that's, that's the golden spot. Sometimes it's hard to predict when he's going to do that. Jesus. Oh. Yeah, one so, more hit. Uh, it right. reminds me very much of like uh, like a Titan Souls kind of-esque, like do or die. A lot of the yeah. times, oh, Jesus. Oh, nice. Oh. Yeah, you're mine, Titan you're Souls you're is mine, exactly... You're mine, you're mine, you're mine. You got oh, it. come on. I think you got it. I think you're done. What? He still has life left. Uh. Oh, yeah. You need to go find him. So this is this is intentional. So the point is that you kill him, and suddenly now you have a new passageway because you're gonna go through his carcass. Boom. So boom, we killed the worm. Not that I'm very. Bam. Game. I was just Crossed able to see the weak spots while you list. were playing. That was. That's it's, fair. It's but those. It makes you weak to that. Anyway, so yeah, it reminds me... <laughs> I'm sorry, I got really into that. Uh, it reminds me Titan Souls because it's one of those things of, like, your weapon only has so much range. Like, yeah, you can do the long shot, but you only get that one charge shot. Mm -hmm. So it forces you to put yourself in compromising positions so you can actually get hits off. Yeah. The difference is, unlike in Titan Souls, you have to hit the guy a fucking million times to do it. Right, exactly. And that... Well, I mean, that's kind of what made Titan Souls so interesting because it was a you one hit to kill the boss... Yeah, very cool, very unique. Loved it. And that's, Do or die, and that's... I, I think that's what made that game stand out from the crowd. Now, this, like, I think this game works with this style where the bosses have a lot of health uh, simply because it's it's very Metroidvanian, right, where it's more about exploration and then, um, like, having this epic showdown with the boss. I guess Titan Souls isn't too different from that either. Well, Titan Souls, they only give you, um, like, one type of mechanic. Yeah. I mean, like, rolling and shooting arrows. That's basic, and then drawing your arrow back to you, right? So that's basically all you have uh, at your disposal. Yeah, I guess the, maybe the main separator for this game is that 
there it, there's an upgradable system, right? Yeah, I was gonna so we'll, say you get more powerful over time, I assume. Exactly, which kind of changes how like if if all bosses were a one hit kill in this game, like what's the point of the power ups other than like maybe increasing your speed or increasing your health? Um, it just it, it wouldn't be as satisfying. So I think they chose the right direction with going with a more traditional style of boss battles. Um, yeah. I'm just gonna go up here and get this uh, this here hollow tape. Is it a secret? Sooner or later, we will die on this planet, all of us. How long did we really expect to survive? Forever? The dinosaurs lasted 65 million years. We'll never never make it that long. Press the A button to close. And this thing. Oh Boom. man. Much needed hull upgrade. <laughs> you know, I used to train people. Like I used to work at Starbucks and I used to train people. I trained a lot of people, like so, almost 100 people. And uh, maybe I'm much? exaggerating. No, I'm just, what I'm trying to get at is I really wish that that is how I train people. Like, they're <laughs> like, just make sure you're steaming the milk. <laughs> press A to close the window. Whoa. What is that guy? Whoa. Whoa. Oh, my God. I know what that is. What is that? It was a drone. But we don't get to find out about that until near the end of the game. Oh. Well, but we that... can talk about the drone on the next episode. Oh, dang. It's already time. Oh, I did that. I did it. Uh, okay, so then what's a good question of the day? Should we ask about kind of the, the boss battle system? First bad guy being a boss. What do you think of that? Huh? Oh, that is a really good question. Yeah, I like that. I know. I'm awesome. <laughs> Second question. Am I awesome? Uh, That's only for me to answer. Um, I think it's better right, that well, way. Well, <laughs> uh, thanks for joining us, uh, and we'll see you next time when we play more Last Adventure. Last the Aquatic the Adventure aquatic of the Last Human. Of the Last Human. <laughs> Press A to close the window. Bye, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>